dogs, like humans, need to drink sufficient water daily or they'll be at risk of dehydration. This risk is greater in dogs, as they release heat from their bodies much more slowly through their paw pads, nose, and panting. In this video, we look at some possible reasons why your dog isn't drinking, and several ways to encourage him to do so, before seeing a vet. While there are several reasons, the most important would be underlying health issues. Bladder infections or urinary tract infections are two major causes of reduced thirst. Besides not drinking, other red flags would be lethargy and lack of appetite. Another potential reason why your dog won't drink water could be due to an injury in his mouth. If so, check for splinters, which can be easily removed. Or you might need your vet's help. Otherwise, non-health causes can be stress-induced, like moving to a new home, to even trauma. Lack of exercise could also be a likely cause, as a low level of exertion means losing less water. Low energy is also tied to old age, and it's common for senior dogs to drink less. Sometimes dogs don't drink as much water as they should, because their bowl is empty. So it's important to fill the bowl daily with fresh clean water. Be sure the bowl is washed and rinsed thoroughly as soap residues can discourage drinking, due to a dog's strong sense of smell. Better yet, placing additional water bowls around the house can encourage good drinking habits. These bowls should also be easily accessible to dogs with arthritis or other mobility issues. Though not common, some dogs can be fussy when it comes to drinking bowls. Try a variety from stainless steel, glass, or ceramic to see which works for him. This pickiness can also extend to the location of the drinking spot. For example, having food and water bowls side by side might not work for some dogs, due to an innate fear of contamination. If so, place the water bowl further away, perhaps in a low traffic area so he feels more secure when drinking. You can also add water to your dog's food, giving it a gravy consistency. If this works, offer your dog broth or even infused water. Cucumber infused water is filled with antioxidants which promote healthy skin. Lemon helps aid in digestion, and mint helps freshen his breath. Another good source of water would be canned dog food, which has a much higher water content than kibble. Likewise, there's no harm in adding extra water to the canned food. If it's a hot day, some dogs might just want chilled water, after having acquired a taste for it. While ice cubes can be added to his water, it might not be a good practice as compulsive chewing of ice can damage his teeth. Here we like to address an urban legend that ice water can lead to bloat in dogs with fatal consequences. Animal experts like Dr. Tina Wisimer, the medical director at the ASPCA's Animal Poison Control Center, have since debunked that rumor. According to Wisimer, there are several factors causing bloat in dogs, but drinking chilled water isn't one of them. Dogs have an innate preference for a running water source, as opposed to a stagnant one. Here's where a pet fountain might be the perfect hydration solution. These fountains keep water in constant motion, which might entice your dog to drink more. Just be sure to clean it at least once a week and regularly replace the fountain filters. Keep the water fresh as well, as moldy water only defeats the original purpose of the fountain. If you've tried your best with the above methods with no success within 24 hours, the time for searching for solutions on the internet is over. Instead, see your vet to help identify the underlying cause and provide treatment if needed. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.